Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm here at the 2014 the North Face Endurance Challenge 50 Mile Championships with the reigning Western States 100 Mile Champion Stephanie Howe. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. It's nice and warm and dry inside, but it's not so nice outside right now. No. It's looking a lot like the last time you were at this race in 2012. Yep, lots of rain, lots of mud. <laughs> Although the forecast is looking a little bit better for this Saturday. Yep, it's a slight chance of rain, so I'll take it. <laughs> so how does it feel to have the Western States 100 reigning champion addition to your name these days? I, it's like when people say that, I'm like, who's that? That's me. <laughs> um, it's exciting. I yeah. mean, it definitely, it still is settling in. Um, it was kind of just a dream race for me, so yeah. I'm still kind of just living it up. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so you've had a pretty solid year. Lake Sonoma, 50 mile. Yep. Second place behind Miss Emily Harrison yep. early in the year. And then your, um, just your power power showing at Western States. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> and then there was that not so good one at the Run, Run Rabbit Run. Run. Yeah, fall. yeah, I'm trying to be positive about that because it was great for about 70 miles and it was a good learning experience. it was a great learning experience and i mean honestly not every hundred is going to go as well as western states so it was good for me to have some more adversity and just kind of make the right choice and yeah. pull out of it when i did so you stopped in that race because of a knee issue yeah my knee started hurting around mile 65 and i pulled the plug at 78. um so it was actually probably all in all, a good experience to like sort of learn your limits and know when the right time is to call it. Totally, and I I didn't want to be injured for the next three months, so I stopped before I made a like a, a permanent injury. Yeah. So I mean, it's great to be running again. It was sad to have to drop out while I was in the lead, but yeah. it was also good to for me to go through that scenario and be able to make the right decision. And probably because of that decision, you're here. Exactly. Healthy. Exactly. And racing. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Awesome. So um, let's talk about the last time that you were here, 2012. Mm -hmm. um, bucket loads of rain. Yeah. Course rerouting. Yeah. Um, basically, a race in a mud bog. Yeah. And you finished second place behind Emily Forsberg. I did. Yeah, that was a great race. Um, it was probably my second or third 50 miler, so I was still kind of trying to learn the ultra thing. And for me, the the conditions were probably an advantage because okay. I just kept a good attitude. I was like, well, we're all in this together and just, you know, put my head down and did what I knew what, you know, how to, how to run. So it was, it was good. Um, and I, I wouldn't be too upset if it's rainy. I mean, I wouldn't say like I'm looking forward to, but if it is, I'll be, I'll be ready. Um, you're a woman who thrives in adversity. Your, I am. Your Western am. States 100 win is a, a pure exemplification of that. There's nothing easy about the conditions. No, happens. no, not at all. And and I do. I mean, I I'm not the fastest runner out there, but I I am really good at problem solving and. I'm not always super positive outside of running, but when I'm running, I'm so good about self-talk. I, I honestly am. Like, if I'm in a rough patch, I will just talk to myself and say, okay, Stephanie, just do the best you can, you know, for this next mile or whatever. And it works out. It works out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's talk about this weekend. Um, mm -hmm. There's a nice little stack of women here yeah. who are ready to race. Who are you looking forward to spending some miles with? Um, you know, there's a lot of runners that I haven't raced before, yeah. so I'm looking forward to getting to know them. I kind of like to do a little bit of chit chat when I race, so yeah. hopefully some of them are up for Anybody that as well. Talk? <laughs> um, I got to know Emily Harrison at Lake Sonoma that way, and that was really cool. Um, so Alicia Shea, I don't know her very well. Um, Magda, I've actually never met her, so I'm, awesome. I'm excited to meet her. I've heard great things. Yeah. Um, but honestly, for me, this weekend is all about having fun. Um, okay. December is a tough time. And I, I've had a, a little bit of a rough time preparing just with uh, the conditions and then we've had some um, ice and snow and so I've done the best I can but um, I would just like to finish with a smile on my face yeah. and not worry too much about times or places and just go out there and do my best. Awesome. So whether that means a win or a fourth place or Exactly. Place. I mean I'm always, I'm competitive but there's more to it than standing on the podium for me. Yeah. So I. I'd like to be up there, but I'll be happy if I put together a good race and I end up fourth or fifth. Yeah. So, I mean, you're a North Face athlete. This mm -hmm. is the North Face's sort of premier yep. annual event. It's a bit of a family reunion when it comes to your team. It is. I can't wait to see everyone. Um, <laughs> I just got into town and we have a big house and I'm, that's what I've been looking forward to is just connecting with everyone and you know, this year having a house, it's going to be like a 
party, sort of. Yeah. MTV road rules. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully not too <laughs> Without much. Without the uh, drama. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not too much drama. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> All right. So um, next year, 2015. Mm-hmm. Is there anything fun on your on your on your on a race skate? Yeah. Actually, I I was torn for a while about Western States. Okay. Um, I just I didn't know if I wanted to go back because I felt like I accomplished every goal I set out for myself and I like to do new races and for me I can't race a lot so if I commit to a race like Western States it's kind of the race and everything else is a little bit smaller and so I wasn't gonna do it and I, I thought about it for a week and it just didn't sit right so I pulled the pulled the trigger and I'm in for next year You're in. so I'll be wait, racing Western States okay um, and then I'll probably do a similar build up Sonoma is always fun um, maybe a 50k in the spring and then I'd like to do UTMB. Ah, all right. So, go, we'll go, see. go big or yeah, go Yeah, big goals for next year. Not a lot of racing but some some big ones. Some big goals. Yeah. And that'll be your first time at UTMB. It will, yeah. yeah. I haven't been over there yet. This year I wanted to go but um, it was the same date as my wedding. So uh, I actually thought about it, um, but I, Zach was like, no, you cannot <laughs> reschedule our wedding for a running race. And yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that. You've had quite a lot going on in your personal life. Yeah, I have. Yeah. yeah. You got married. I got married. That was kind of a big thing. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry, um, she's off the board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And you're also working on your PhD. I am, yep. And I've had a couple big milestones just get checked off. Um, I finished my data collection and then the data analysis. So now it's just kind of um, the sprint to the finish. Sprint to the finish. Yeah. So it's been um, not as much racing maybe in the, since June, really, um, just because of those things. Awesome. But they're good too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Life is good. Yeah. You got to keep life good, right? Totally. All right. Well, good luck to you Thank this weekend. You. We look forward to seeing you out there. All right. And uh, I'm sure there's be a smile on your face when I'm I like hope so. Sun or I like to sky. smile when I see you. Yeah, you smile. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Thank you.